Hello everyone! Hello Facebook and YouTube world! Just in case you're wondering, my name is Maureen and I'm going to be the new face of Remar Review. I bought this amazing company and that's why Miss Regina is no longer going to be here today. And um, so I, what I'm going to be doing is basically just um, answering your questions and there is no more content. So I'll be here from Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. noon, okay? So um, actually, I would like to introduce myself. I am the number three um, best NCLEX instructor in the whole galaxy. And I'm very, very excited. And I would like to, you know, introduce you to my amazing company. So um, just to let you know, guys, the Question Bank book is actually on sale today. It's half off. This is a great deal. You know, you guys have to really buy this book today. Oh, Ma Maureen. Miss Regina. What are you doing, Maureen? Oh, you know, <laughs> I thought this is really cool. So I was just hanging out in the <laughs> office. But yes. Miss Regina's here. Yes. <laughs> Maureen, so this is, we did this for April Fool's. We, we thought you guys wouldn't even really know the difference. We really did. And so Dave said, please don't be, please don't be joking. <laughs> so, no, Maureen is here. Um, she is an amazing, amazing, amazing asset to Remar Review, but she's not the instructor at this time. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Marie. Thank you. You're welcome. Everyone's like, hey, hey, guys. LeVette said, I was like, what in the world is going on? So you guys know this is, let me get into my, Maureen's a lot shorter than me. <laughs> All right. So. I'm here. This is Monday Motivation. Let's talk NCLEX. We did a small April Fool's joke on you guys, uh, but don't worry. All is well at Remar Review. But you know what wasn't a joke? Maureen was right because the Question Bank book for today is going to be half off, 50% off. So um, I will be spotlighting this question book actually because uh, when we do Let's Talk NCLEX, the questions will be coming from uh, Remar Question Bank. So I am so happy to be here. You guys know I love Mondays. Uh, they are the time that we come together and we got a great Monday motivation. Again, it's from my own personal experience. So welcome, welcome. Everybody's like, hi, Remar. Hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> he said, not funny. No, it, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. Um, so we're going to get started uh, for April Fool's Day. My name is Regina Callion, and I am the number one NCLEX instructor on this planet. And I have the pleasure of having the number one, oh, the number one nursing students in the universe. You guys are so great. You guys are so great. So um, I won't keep you guys long. Don't be confused. Nothing has changed with the company. I have not sold the company. I have not, I repeat, sold the company. We are still here. Uh, so we're going to get it started. You guys know since 2019, every week we have been giving back. We have been giving back to our nursing community. So one winner will be announced again and they will have their NCLEX fees paid for by our very own Remar Review company. So I thought I saw a testimonial. Let me shout it out here. Okay. Oh, nurse. Nurse, Lund Nurse Ludney says, I passed last week with 265 questions. Yes, I did it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for jumping on here and telling me. Also, we have uh, Nurse Luna who says, thank you, Regina. After eight failed attempts on 3-23-19, I found out I passed my NCLEX RN. Thank you, Regina and Remar. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work ooh, in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Is that your scripture, Philippians 1, 6? I love it. I love it. Oh, so good. So good, Nurse Luna. Congratulations. Thank you for coming on here. We have 200 and 44 Remar nurses attending this live. That number is going to go up. I know it. 
share this video. Uh, so we are going to get started. I love, I love that it's April. I love that it's April. Um, spring is here. Spring is here almost, and unless you're in Ohio where it's snowing. But otherwise, this is a great day. This is a great day for us. So let's get into Monday motivation. But I have to tell you guys, remember last week I I alluded to our biggest event of the year, and that was Remar Nurse University. So last week I told you guys that Remar Nurse University would go down in 2019. And Remar Nurse University, if you are not familiar with this event, it is a month long free NCLEX review, period. And it we do it during the time of graduation season because we know that this is the critical point for nursing students who are transitioning out of school and into uh, the hospitals, the, the home health environments, wherever they will find themselves. And so we prepare them to embrace the NCLEX preparation process. So if you will be testing in June, July, um, at the end of May, this event is going to be a game changer for you because I'm literally going over the things that you need to know for the exam. And so um, I talked about how I was bringing Remar Nurse University to Miami. Remember, I talked about it. Um, hi, hi from Jamaica. Hi, everybody from all over. I talked about how um, I was bringing Remar Nurse University to Miami and I, I didn't have the other cities to be released just yet. So what I'm about to do now is tell you where I will be live during Remar Nurse University. And remember, I will be live in a city every Monday for the month of May. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Let me let me tell you guys. OK, so. There are several ways that you can attend Remar Nurse University, okay? There's several ways that you can attend it. So everybody will be able to watch for free online um, via Facebook and YouTube, right? I will also be live in these cities if you want to come to the actual class, all right? So um, on May 6th, this is the first Monday in May, I will be in Chicago, live okay next city i will be in may 13th i will be in atlanta i will be in atlanta i'm super excited to go to these places um i will be in la may the 20th may the 20th i will be in new york on may the 27th i will be spending um that time in new york city um and then finally Finally, finally, I will be in Miami. Actually, I will be in Miami June the 3rd. So these are the cities that I will definitely be at during the month of May. Okay, so you guys got to catch me. You guys got to catch me in these locations. Now, I'm saying this to you now because you need to register if you want to attend Remar Nurse University. So I believe I'll be talking about that a little later. Right, Mark? I'll be talking about that later. Okay, so I'll be talking about uh, the registration process and all those things, but I am here to just let you guys know that Remar Nurse University is going down and I will be in cities across the United States, okay? So with that being said, Monday motivation. Keep calm and defend the goal. Keep calm and defend the goal, all right? And this is a personal, this is a personal um, motivation for myself. Um, this is a personal motivation for myself because I feel like what I'm going through right now is similar to what you guys go through on a daily basis. And I'm becoming more aware of it as I'm trying to plan and create and accomplish goals. I find that I really have to protect the things that I say I want to get done more than ever. And I see um, I see the emails that we get here and that um, that you guys are you're very transparent with us. You're very transparent with the team, with myself about what you're going through. Some of you guys are, to be honest, some of you guys are depressed, right? Some of you guys are depressed because 
you've been trying to pass this NCLEX for so long, you're struggling, you're, you know, you feel alone. And so when you come and you meet Remar, the Remar community, you feel like, wow, I finally found some people who understand what I'm going through. You know, we, we meet nursing students that are sick and they have, they have like really serious grave illnesses that they're dealing with, but they still have a passion for nursing, right? We just meet some, some nursing students that are just, they just don't have the motivation. They, they're they just unmotivated to accomplish or do or, or go after. And I know I'm talking to somebody. I know, I know that there is somebody that, you know, you come to Monday Motivation because literally it helps you just get through the day. And I get that. I get that. So um, I'm going to just talk about defending the goal. I'm just going to talk about defending the goal. Um, so before I do that, I love to share motivation that is real. I love to share motivation that is real. And so I have an amazing testimony from Nurse Dum Lao. And she is uh, obviously a Filipina nurse, but Listen, listen, I don't know if you saw her video. I don't know if you saw her video in the Remar Nurse group, but she is a cancer survivor, right? Oh my goodness. She is a cancer survivor. And if you if you listen to her video, you saw, um, you heard her say the different types of uh, cancer that she was diagnosed with. But because of God's mercy, she was able to not except she was able to not accept the diagnosis of man does that make sense like she was able to come out of a situation that she's i mean she said nine doctors nine doctors told her husband this is it for her okay this is it and she was able to push past that to continue to pursue she was able to continue to pursue this, this passion for nursing, this dream of being a nurse. And the reason why she said that she was able to pursue nursing is because of the care that was given to her during her time of illness, when she was diagnosed with cancer and the whole process in the hospital. She said, I want to be a nurse because I had an amazing experience with the nursing staff, not the doctors, not the dietitians, not PT, but it was the nursing staff. And you guys, you guys have the ability to have that same profound effect on people. When you heal, when you nurse someone, they, they respect you. They look up to you as being someone that is um, worthy of um, worthy of honor, worthy of appreciation. Now, I know everybody isn't like that, but those who have seriously been through something and they find comfort in the nursing care that you provide, they will they will be so grateful to have known you. Yes, they will be so grateful that you have allowed God to use you to minister to them. And so um, anyhow, she said she had actually found Remar Review uh, through Facebook, like most of you. And she kept seeing quick facts. And so she brought quick facts in, in her nursing school and she used it and she took it with her everywhere. Um, but she 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 went on to get the DVD program and she used the DVDs and she she studied them and she said she did the DVD program, which I think this is the most I've ever heard anybody doing it. She said she did it six times, like six times she went through the DVD program and she was able to get her NCLEX and the, the exam stopped at 75 questions. It stopped at 75 questions. And I just loved that this was able to be our, um, our, our nurse spotlight our nurse testimony for this week. Now, I know there are many, 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 um, but I wanted to just put, uh, put her testimony out there because I think that anytime you hear, you hear some devastating news about your own self, it has the ability to paralyze you. It has the ability to paralyze you. And sometimes our challenges and our obstacles seem like they are, um, insurmountable, like you cannot get over them. But then you hear the, the challenges of another person. 
and you hear how they were close to death and they were delivered. And then you're able to look at yourself and look um, at your situation in a proper perspective. Because in the end, um, really only, only what we do for God lasts, right? Our lives are short and momentary. So we have to make sure that the, 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 the things that we put our hands to, they, uh, they are fruitful, right? So uh, thank you. Thank you, Remar Nurses, for supporting uh, our, our <laughs> Remar Nurses journeys, okay? All right. Now, Monday Motivation, I want to get into this because this has been, oh, this has been my struggle, you guys. Have you ever started your day out with a plan, but at the end of the day, you just did not get that thing done. Like, it, has that been your experience? When you woke up in the morning, you said, I know by God's grace, I have to do X, Y, and Z. And I don't know, for for me, it was like, okay, I know that I have to send in an application. I know I have to make a phone call. There are people that I need to speak to. There are things that I need to get done. There are, you know, papers I need to write, create, edit, whatever, right? Is that, is that anybody, right? Is that anybody? But by the end of the day, you go back to your list. I'm a list writer. You go back to your list and the things that you were supposed to do, you didn't get done. Mm. And it just burns you at the end of the day because you're like, what did I spend the day doing? What did I spend my time doing? And so that's where I'm coming from today. <laughs> I love it. You guys are like, yes, that's me all the time. Yes, yes, yes. So this is this is what I want to focus in on this week, because literally when I get on here, I'm like, OK, you guys, we need to cut out the negativity. We need to block ourselves from, you know, those bad things in our life that we let creep in. But I find myself actually I find myself saying yes to quickly. I find myself saying, okay, I will do this or yes, I can get this done. And, and what it does is it does this to me. It does this to me. You know what this is? This is a train that has gone off the track. This is a derailed train. And for myself, when I look at this, it's like, yes, this is, these are my goals when I overcommit myself, right? This is, this is what happens to my goals and they get off track. They get off track. And so I want us to be mindful this week about making sure that the, the commitments that we are holding to um, are those that we need to prioritize. Because actually um, what happened to me was I had a plan to get some things accomplished and our church also had a church a women's ministry program coming up. So I was asked to help with that program. Now I'm not on women's ministry. I'm not on women's ministry in my church. I'm on health and temperance ministry. And what else do we do, Mark? Oh yeah, yeah, trying from pray. But oh, oh, family life. I'm on family life. I'm not on women's ministry. But what did I say I could do? When I was asked to help with ministry, women's ministry, I said, yes, I can help. And so I ended up doing a lot in terms of coordinating, in terms of getting people to come. And that took up a lot of time in my week last week. And so what I want to bring to you, because it's a lesson that I learned, is that this, is that this, sometimes, sometimes we have to make the hard choice of saying no to good things. The hard choice of saying no to good things. And this is a point where you have to be able to use your discernment as, okay, if I say yes to this, then am I saying no to myself? Even when it's a good thing, even when it's a good thing. And I mean, does anybody resonating with this topic? There are some good things that when you're trying to accomplish your goal, you have to say no to. So, yes, I love, I love, love, love when things go on in our church. I love for our church to be active. But if something is not my area, 
<laughs> I have to be able to draw a line and say, I, I really, I really would love to help. But right now my time is constrained where I can't do it. I can't do it. So be mindful of that this week. Um, there are some good things that you need to say no to this week. All right. Here are my good things that you need to say no to this week. Catching up with old friends. Yes, that is, that is a good thing. Okay. But I know that there's some friends that when I talk to, I'm on the phone with them for three hours. I'm, a phone, I'm on the phone with them for a long time. So because I'm behind from last week, I can't take any phone calls like that. I can't just take casual, how you doing phone calls. I have to reserve that for a different time. So that may be you. Um, another thing, volunteering your time, volunteering your spare time because you don't have any. If you're trying to get through that six week calendar, if you're trying to get through that six week calendar, literally there are things that you have to get done in order to stay on track. And it happens all the time. You know, you miss one day and then that puts you behind. And the next thing you know, two weeks have passed and you're still on week two of the six week program, right? So um, volunteering your extra time and I, however, however it happens for you. Like, so for me, sometimes I get caught up with, um, I get caught up with stuff at church sometimes. Sometimes it's with my daughter's school or to be honest, sometimes it's just online shopping. Like I'm just online searching for things that I don't have time to do, right? Um, another thing is that extra sleep. Getting extra sleep is great for you but there are times where you're going to have to sacrifice hitting the snooze button so you can get up earlier, get your goals accomplished. And so these are little things that you can do today to help you get the goals accomplished, get the goals accomplished. Because at the end of the week, you don't want to look back and say, I'm at the same place I was this week, uh, at the beginning of the week. Time is literally ticking. I cannot believe it's it's April already. It feels like we were just doing seven days of NCLEX. It feels like, you know, we were just talking about Valentine's Day, loving your content. And now we're already into preparing for Remar Nurse University. Some of you guys watching this should have already taken your NCLEX and passed it. But because of, um, you know, not being able to say no to good things, you're still watching. You're still watching Monday motivations. You're still looking for that motivation. OK, so no time, no time for the good things this week. It's going to be a tough one. I know it's going to be a tough one for us to exercise, but it's only for this week. Just try it for this week. Let me know how you guys do. All right. So that is Monday motivation for you guys. I want to do a little segue because I got a package from um, a nursing student here. And, you know, usually you shouldn't open up packages live, but I think that this will be okay. Um, it's from Nurse Sylvia, from Nurse Sylvia from Canada. And it says, to Remar and family. I don't know if I'm strong enough to open this. I love when we get gifts. Uh, nursing students, you guys usually um, are super appreciative of us helping you pass your NCLEX exam. So I got a package. I don't know if I'm strong enough to even open it. I don't think I am. Um, but it's Christmas. Mark, can you help me? I'm having a hard time opening this package. Ooh, Here nice. comes the muscles. Oh. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. This is a nice gift. You Thank go. you. Okay. So, ta-da. It is a towel. It's a beautiful town. Oh. This was inside also. Thank you. Let's open that. I appreciate I know it took some time for you to send this. And so look what we got. Got a beautiful towel. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it has another little decorative one. And then wow. we got a card. And it says, to beloved Regina, Mark, and family. I really want to use this opportunity to thank you for being the number one NCLEX coach <laughs> and for helping me to pass my NCLEX. May God reward you immensely in the name of Jesus. Amen. Love wishing it. wishing you peace and joy all through the Easter and beyond. Oh, amazing. Regards, Nurse Sylvia from Canada. Canada. I appreciate this. It's Love very it. beautiful it. and it's very timely. I'll put this in my office 
and we'll take this to our home. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. So, all right. So now, 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 here's the question. This is what you all come here for. This is what you all are waiting for. All right. So share this video, share this video. And if we get, how many shares do we have now? Somebody tell me, I can't tell. 40 shares. Okay. Um, if we can get up to 100 shares, I will keep this thing going. If not, we'll just do our four and then that's it. That's it. All right. So, oh, I want to do this. This was, we got some really good ass Remar questions this week. So I wanted to share, um, I wanted to share two of them or one of them today. This question was asked to me, do patients with MRSA need to use disposable trays. Isn't that a good one? What do you guys think, Remar nurses? Do patients with MRSA need to use disposable trays? And so um, I guess this is in regards to if you're taking your NCLEX exam, that's where this applies. So if you, um, if you are presented with this question, how would, you, how would you answer it? Would it be a yes or a no? What do you guys think? This is really interesting. I, I really like this one. Everybody's saying yes, yes. Clients with MRSA need to use disposable trays. Um, what did you learn about this in nursing school? What have you What have you been ex instructed to do? This is good. This is good. I actually I actually made sure I had to do some research on this just to make sure. Now I know you guys are probably thinking about what the hospitals do. Um, what you see in different areas, but I want you to think about what the what the research shows, what the Center for Disease Control recommends. That's what I want you to think about here. That's what I want you to think about here. Okay, and let me give you the answers. Thank you, everyone. I see you guys participating. Thank you, everyone. So here's what here is what I found. The combination of hot water and detergents used in dishwashers is sufficient to decontaminate dishware and eating utensils. Therefore, no special precautions are needed for dishware, e.g. dishes, glasses, cups, or eating utensils. Reusable dishware and utensils may be used for patients requiring transmission-based precautions. So essentially, what this is saying is that in general, the, the dishwashing process, the hot water and the detergent is sufficient for protecting and cleansing um, other patients from catching things from clients with MRSA, BRE, E. coli, those things. However, it may be the discretion of the hospital facility to use disposable mm, plastic, utensils however however the recommendation is a no but if the hospital wants to take on that additional expense then that is their prerogative okay so if you see it on NCLEX it will be a no now um sometimes in prisons they will use plastic or disposable eating utensils what is the reason for that? Is it because of germs? What do you guys think? Absolutely not. It is going to be because of safety reasons, okay? Safety reasons, so that's why. Another, another question that I got, which was a great one, here is if a nurse is administering a subcutaneous injection how much medication can she inject? Oh, I was like, oh, this is really good. I like this a lot. If you're giving a subcutaneous injection, and subcutaneous means what? Underneath the what? Underneath the skin. If you're giving an injection underneath the skin, how much medication can you put underneath the skin? That is a good one. That's a good one. Give me that number. And no, this is um, Monday Motivations. Let's talk NCLEX are reserved live for Facebook, so you won't see it on on you won't see it on YouTube right now. Okay, so yeah, okay. So the answer the answer here is this. Okay, 
one and a half milliliters, no more than two milliliters. Because remember, if you're given an injection underneath the skin, right in that subcutaneous space, there, there really, there really is not, not much room for that fat to hold medication, right? Because it's in the subcutaneous tissues that you're trying to get the medication. So the, the fat is not built, it's not built to hold medication, all right? So one and a half is going to be your safe, your safe number for your NCLEX exam, okay? One and a half is gonna be your safe number for your NCLEX exam. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going here. I'm gonna do some questions and they come specifically from the five star quick facts. Okay, five star quick facts. So for you guys who have it, for you guys who have it, you are going to be able to get some practice questions done. Okay, and I just wanna make sure that we are going to be ready to do this, all right. All right, first question here, first question is, this comes from Quick Facts. Which of the following fluids should be avoided while taking theophylline? Yes, theophylline, I should say, theophylline. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Number one, grapefruit juice. Two, apple juice. Three, hot chocolate or four, milk. If you have been studying, if you have been studying the quick facts, you will know this answer. Which one is it? Okay, choices, roll them on in, roll them on in. The correct answer is going to be hot chocolate. And the reason why, because with the offline, with the offline, um, you can't have anything with caffeine in it. And so the hot chocolate is going to be the most inappropriate one. You got to be careful because grapefruit juice does have interactions with a lot of medications. So it's an easy one to go for. But particularly, this is a teaching, this is a teaching safety point for your exam, okay? Teaching safety point for your exam. Come on in, come on in everybody. If you're just joining us, you gotta go from the beginning. You got to go from the beginning. All right, we're gonna move on and we're gonna do another question. These come from Quick Facts. Here's the question. Which of the following points should be made by the nurse Regarding, do you guys know this medication? Guafenicin. Mm-hmm. What kind of medication is this? All right, let's look at the choices here. What what following points should be made regarding this medication? So, number one, this medication can cause blood glucose levels to increase. Two, guafenicin has a high alcohol content. Three, increasing fluid intake is necessary to help loosen secretions. Or four, there is a high incidence of adverse effects. Oh, what sayeth you about this medication? Talking about guafenicin um, and what the nurse should, should say regarding it. What is the major point about this? Is it number one, this medication can cause blood glucose levels to increase. Mm -hmm. Two, this medication has a high alcohol content. Three, increasing fluid intake is necessary to help loosen secretions. <laughs> you guys have it. You're like, we know this. Or four, there is a high incidence of <laughs> adverse effects. And so I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it in quick five star quick box because I know it's in here. Um, and yep, okay. So if you've been studying, if you've been studying your book, then you know that the correct answer, uh, no, the correct answer, you guys, is going to be number three. Yes, increasing 
fluid intake is necessary to help loosen secretions. And you can read about um, you can read about this medication in the pharmacology section of Quick Facts. All right. Question. Question number three. Are you guys still with me? Let's go. Question number three. What is the primary action? What is the primary action of cimetidine? Yes, here we go. Number one, does this medication, is it going to be antagonizing the action of histamine at the receptor site? Two, neutralizes gastric secretions, three, decreases the pH of gastric fluids, or four, suppresses the action of acetylcholine at the, res the receptor responsible for histamine release. Oh, I, I wrote these questions based off of Fast Start Quick Facts. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the action of cimetidine? All right. Um, number one, antagonizes the action of histamine at the H2 receptor site. Mm -hmm. Two, neutralizes gastric secretions. Three, decreases the pH of gastric fluids. Or four, suppresses the action of acetylcholine at the receptor responsible for histamine release. Oh, we got a lot of different answers on this one. We got a lot of different answers on this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on in. Don't worry. Take a guess because the reason why we, the reason why we do these NCLEX questions is literally just for you to see if this is a weak point in your studying. That's it. We're just trying to see. We want you to see if what you have been studying is enough for you to answer basic NCLEX questions appropriately. Literally, all I'm asking you is what does this medication do? And it is a very common one. All right. So if you're struggling with this, you're not really sure what it is, then it it just means that you need to um, dig a little deeper. All right, number one, this medication is an H2 blocker. So it is going to um, be an antagonist to the histamine receptor sites. It is going to, it is going to block, is going to block. So this is an allergy medication. This is a very common allergy medication. Most of us have probably taken it. Most of us have, have probably taken this medication. So I'm not gonna give you guys the brand names because you need to know the gen generic names for your exam. You need to be comfortable with them. You need to be uh, familiar with them. You need to see them and recognize them readily. Like you need to be able to see them and at least know the class of medication it, it is in. OK, because sometimes that will help you. If You can see it and recognize the class. That's a great start. That's a great start. Let's try some more. Let's try some more. That was a little tough. And I think pharmacology, pharmacology in general is tough. OK, it's tough because we, we don't we don't use these terms all the time. We don't we rarely even, to be honest, use them in nursing school. Usually when we're discussing pharmacology, it's for an exam and you're just reading it and trying to match it. But for you to say it and for you to um, speak about it is very rare. And so that's what makes that's what makes this um, medication tough. All right. All right. Um, so let's go here. Next one. OK, and. All right. So let's do some questions from the question bank book. Let's do some questions from the question bank book. All right. And so I like this question. I like this question. I like this question because it is, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I miss, I misspoke about the medication. I, I apologize. I was looking at allergy medications in the book. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me, please. All right. Um, so this these questions come from the question bank book. All right. These questions come from the question bank book. Here is this one. All right. A nurse is caring for a nine years old client diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. The client is ordered to have chest physiotherapy. What's the reason for that? 
the client is ordered to have chest physiotherapy. All right. When should the nurse perform this procedure? When should the nurse perform this procedure? Number one, immediately before a meal to open airways. Two, at least two hours after a meal. Three, immediately when bronchospasms occur. Or four, when the client complains of shortness of breath. We're talking about chest physiotherapy with cystic fibrosis. Chest physiotherapy with cystic fibrosis. When should it be done? When should it be done? One, immediately before a meal to open airways, at least two hours after a meal, immediately when bronchospasms occur, or four, when the client complains of shortness of breath. This is a great question education related, um, this question has you to like really anticipate the needs of the client, anticipate the needs of the client here. What's gonna be the best for doing chest PT? See the answers coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, participation is up today. I appreciate it. This is Monday Motivation. Let's talk NCLEX. Or we have all we have a lot of different questions. We have a lot of different thoughts on it. Let me show you guys the correct answer here. This is question number five. The correct answer is going to be yes, at least two hours after a meal. Remember, remember when you're doing chest physiotherapy, some of us may need to look this up. When you're doing chest physiotherapy, it requires you to really agitate. You want to agitate. You want to agitate the client's chest because actually what's that? That's going to loosen up. Yeah, that's going to loosen up the secretions. That's going to make them bring it up. You want those secretions to come up. You want them not to be settled because with cystic fibrosis, what do they have a lot of? What do they have a lot of? A lot of mucus production, yes, in the respiratory in the respiratory system, there is a ton of mucus. So the physiotherapy it's rough. It's rough. You're you know you're really um, you're really patting 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 the patient's back, and so you don't want them um, back and chest. You know you you're really trying to get those secretions to move around. So you don't want them to have just eaten because yes. They can they can vomit. It can they can um, bring up food and it could cause them to aspirate. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. So let's look at the choices here. Um, immediately after a meal, immediately after a meal to open airways. Yeah, no, yeah, that immediately it, it was like no, you don't want it. You don't want to do that, even though it has the distractor there, right? open airways, open airways. No, 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 no. Um, three, immediately when bronchospasms occur. Okay. So if our patient is having bronchospasms, is the treatment chest PT? No, it's not. If the, if, if the patient is having bronchospasms, we might want to get them, you know, some albuterol. We don't, you know, some steroids, some their inhaler. Yeah. Uh-uh, that's not going to be great for our patient. They don't need PT at that time. Um and also um 3 3 and 4 are kind of the same when the client complains of shortness of breath. Mm -mm. No, no, no. When the client complains of shortness of breath, this again is not the time. This is not the time for chest PT. So it it kind of sometimes Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's like, no, this is not going to be the time. OK. All right. So you need to wait. You need to definitely, definitely wait. OK. All right. Number six, number six, number six, a client who is regaining consciousness after a craniotomy becomes restless and attempts to pull out her IV line, okay? 
which nursing intervention protects the client without increasing her intracranial pressure? All right, so we know the situation. Um, after a head surgery, your client becomes restless and they're pulling at their lines. We wanna make sure that the pressure in their head does not go up. So which nursing intervention will do that for our client? Is it number one, place her in a jacket restraint. Two, wrap her hands in soft mitten restraints. Okay, so we have a theme here, restraining. Three, tuck her arms and hands under the draw sheet. Four, apply a wrist restraint to each arm. Hmm, what do you guys think here? Because we, what we're trying to do is we need to not allow the patient to pull at their IV. We, we, we don't want them to pull out their IV because you just, you just had a craniotomy. You need an IV access. But also, the head is so sensitive, we don't want that pressure to increase. So what is the best nursing intervention here? This is a good one. This is a good one. Okay. <laughs> no order. I like that. No, we don't have an order, but can we put on, can we put on restraints without an order if you're an RN? Can you put on restraints without an order? Absolutely. Yes, you can. You better put on a restraint to save that patient. You better put on a restraint to save that patient. So yeah, there's a lot of different, there is a lot of different uh, opinions here. And that's okay um, because we are here to learn and communicate, okay? Yes, we don't have to have an order in an emergency situation. And this is something that, although pulling out your IV isn't, it doesn't constitute an emergency, but it is, it is uh, for safety, okay? So the correct answer here, and I want you guys to tell me why. The correct answer here is going to be, yes, wrap her hands in soft mitten restraints, okay? Wrap her hands in soft mitten restraints. And this is the one that makes sense. And I know you guys are like, oh, yes, of course. Wrap her hands in soft mitten restraints because the client trying to get out of a restraint is going to do what? It's going to cause them to stress and strain. And they're going to be trying to get out of a restraint. And that's going to do what to their intracranial pressure? It's going to make it go up. Let's look at it. Let's look at it again. So if we put the client in a jacket restraint, that means they're going to be restrained down to the bed, right? Their chest, their uh, their abdomen, they're going to be restrained to the bed. What are they going to do? They're going to want to pull up. They're going to want to pull up in that bed, and that's going to cause further agitation and increased ICP. Actually, when you tuck a client body part under a draw sheet, that is considered a restraint. And I actually... I see this done all the time. I'm not gonna say where, but I see this done all the time. And it is an illegal restraint because um, they're, they're really, um, these forms of restraints are used to, to immobilize normally elder, if we're keeping it real, if I'm just keeping it real, they're usually used to immobilize elderly clients in bed so that they don't get up, so that they don't use the call button, so that, you know, so they're, they're not, um, they're not asking for assistance. And it's done all the time. It's, but if we, if we, what it says here, if we tuck the arms and hands under the draw sheet, what is, that going to cause the patient to want to do? They're going to cause the patient, right, um, to cause the patient to want to pull, want to get out, want to get up, okay? So this is also going to create agitation. It looks good, but it sounds good. Yeah, just tuck the arms underneath the draw sheet, but <laughs> that's a restraint. OK, and then also applying a wrist restraint to each arm. Oh, man, these are the worst. These are the worst um, because 
they really cause agitation to the patient because the patient, they have the ability to feel their fingers and they have the ability to push off um, their beds, but their arms, their wrists are restrained. So man, it's, this, is a, this was a tough one, but the correct answer is if we put the hands in soft mitten restraints, the arms are free, right? So it's just the hands that are covered so the patient won't be able to grab and pull and grab and pull, um, they won't be able to grab and pull their IV. So this is going to be the best one. This is going to be the best one that is um, least restrictive. That's going to be the best one that is least restrictive, okay? All right. Okay. So yes. All right. So how many, how many shares do we have? How many shares? Our goal was a hundred. How many shares do we have? Our goal was a hundred. I can't, I can't see on live. Mark, can you let me know? All right. Okay. All right. Let's do, <laughs> let's do, let's do one more question. Let's do one more question. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. So, all right. Um, a RN is working with an LPN to provide care for a group of patients. Which client would be the most appropriate mm -mm -mm, to give to the LPN? Okay, so we're looking for the LPN. All right, who's which client is most appropriate for the LPN? This is a good one. Number one, the client with a deep leg ulcer requiring wound dressing changes every four hours and PRN. Hmm. A client receiving one unit of packed red blood cells. Okay, so only 87 shares. Thank you. Thank you for that information. It's very timely. <laughs> a client receiving one unit of packed red blood cells following a cesarean section. Hmm. A client with an arterial line who is on a nitroprusside drip to control blood pressure or for a client who is just returned from a right heart catheterization. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. I think it's unanimous on this one, guys. I think it's unanimous on this one. All right. And I love that you guys are getting this right away because that means that you have a great handle on your delegation and assignment responsibilities. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. I, I love it, Nurse Lelaine. Yes, you got it. So the correct answer, of course, of course, guys, is number one. We got to give the LPN the most stable patient. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So the person with the ulceration, um, of the leg and, and they require what that LPN can do. LPNs can do sterile dressing changes. Yes, they can do wound changes. Uh-huh. And PRN every four hours, they can do it. Number two, the client receiving one unit of packed red blood cells uh, following a C-section. This client is not stable. This client is not stable. This client has um, obviously um, lost a lot of blood, extended some trauma during the cesarean section. This is not the client for the LPN. Also, um, any client number three with an arterial line, that is an invasive monitoring. All right. That's a, that's a catheter in the artery. So it requires very frequent assessment. Usually clients with arterial lines, where are they? Where do you see these type of patients at? Do you see them on a med surge floor, on a general cardiac floor? No, you don't. You see somebody with an arterial line in the ICU, in the MICU, in the SICU. These clients are totally unstable, totally unstable. So this is not going to be the client for the LPN. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Number four, um, somebody who has just returned from a right heart catheterization uh-uh. <laughs> this client is post, well, we can say post, we can say post, post operative. Yeah. Yep. And this client is not going to be for the LPN because of course they're going to require frequent assessments, which our LPNs are not going to be able to do. So the best client you guys picked it uh, is what long if they didn't. Drag it yes, yes, yes. So this is the, this is the best client. All right. We only reached 87 shares. So, which is crazy because there's 600 people here. So let's do, uh, let's do this last one. Um, 
here. I, do I have? Yes, I do. I, I, I did a couple more. I did a couple more. All right. So let's do let's do this last one, you guys. And then I'll do the final announcements and the final information because you guys were asking me how you can sign up for Remar Nurse University. And so I want to be able to tell you that. All right. So let's do this last question here. A nurse is a nurse is caring for a prima gravita in active labor and notes, I'm sorry, and notes the changes in the fetal heart monitor due to core compression. Which of the following changes should she expect? So we're talking about core compression here. Do we expect to see variable decelerations? Two, early decelerations. Three, maternal bradycardia. Mm -hmm. Or four, associative decelerations. Bam, which one are you gonna expect to see with, which one are you gonna expect to see with cord compression? Oh, you've gotta know this one, which one is it? Which one is it? All right, and you know, being able to read the fetal heart monitoring is really, it's a really an advanced clinical skill. And it's something that takes some deep understanding. I, I, I went over the topic, this particular topic when I did my, um, when we did seven days of NCLEX and I think it was super helpful. Uh, but in general, whenever you see or hear NCLEX talking about core compression, yes, it's going to be number one, the variable, variable deceleration. So I know some students, uh, they like to use an acronym, VEAL CHOP. Have you guys ever heard of VEAL CHOP? Look that up if you're not familiar with it. Um, typically, early decelerations, just to go over these terms, early decelerations are what you want to see in the fetal heart monitoring. Early decelerations are something that are normal, they are expected, they are, it means that the baby is very healthy, so it's what you wanna see. Uh, maternal bradycardia just means, maternal bradycardia means that the mother's heart rate has dropped. So can you guys think of some conditions that may cause maternal bradycardia? Hmm. That's an interesting, that's an interesting point to know. And associative, what is associative decelerations I made up? I made up. It's not even a thing. Okay. So remember that regular nurses write these NCLEX questions just like me, and they have the ability to make up terms. So I always say, if you don't recognize it, if you've never heard of it, don't pick it. Okay, go with your first mind because sometimes we'll we'll be doing NCLEX questions and we'll we'll see something and it will say inside of us will say that is the answer, but then you'll look down and see a choice that you've never heard of before. And so, what do you do? You second guess yourself and you say, "What is that? Maybe that's the right answer, and I just don't know it. Maybe that's the right answer, and I didn't study it." And you're like, "Oh, let me pick the thing I." Don't even know what it means, but I'm going to pick it, right? So that's not what we do for our NCLEX exam. That's the wrong thing to do. Make sure that you guys are always going with your first mind. Make sure that you guys are always going with your first mind, okay? That is the way that you pass NCLEX. I got an email from a student yesterday. It was Sunday, and I was just going through the emails, and he said, I'm taking NCLEX tomorrow. What should I be studying today? And you guys know what my answer was. My answer was, if you do not get away from those NCLEX books, sit yourself down in front of the TV or sit yourself down somewhere and relax your mind, okay? The day before your exam, nobody should be studying. Nobody should be studying the day before your exam. Whatever you don't know the day before your exam, you will not know, period. And that's the mindset that you have to have, right? You're not going to learn anything mind blowing or revolutionary the day before your exam. OK, period. You have to go in there based off of the works you've done weeks and weeks and weeks before that test date. That test date is that test date is not a surprise to the person taking it. It's the date that you picked. 
So I need you guys to act like it. I need you guys to act like it's a date that you know is coming. And what that means is you have to study. You have to show up for Monday motivation. You have to show up for um, for the live events that I do. I mean, if you guys miss this Monday motivation, we have the podcast. We have Remar Nurse Radio. We have Remar Nurse Study Group. We have Remar YouTube channel. Like there's no reason for you, you guys to be dried up from Remar stuff. There is a ton of it, okay? Um, but the goal is that you are continuing to make progress. You're continuing to make progress. So those of you who are testing this week, you do have this. You can do it. All right. Those of you who are testing in six weeks, you do have this. You can do it. But you have to go through the same process as everybody else. It's consistency. Consistency is what brings success. What if I just got on here and said, I'm just doing Monday motivation just for this Monday. What kind of help would that be? <laughs> no, I have to come on here every Monday, no matter where I am. If I'm in Jamaica, if I'm in Canada, if I'm in wherever, it doesn't matter. I have to be here on Mondays because consistency is the key to success. It's the key to success, okay? So, um, all right, so we are paying for NCLEX, so I want to announce, um, I wanna announce the winner. Oh, you asked, what is the radio? The radio, the radio is, somebody tell her what the radio is, Remar Nurse Radio. Yeah, Remar Radio, yes, okay. So we're paying for NCLEX, thank you so much. We're paying for, um, we're paying for NCLEX, so the winner for this week, I love, I love it. The winner is C. Arunga, okay? Arungu, Arungu. Did I say right, Arungu? Yes, RN nursing student. She purchased the um, DVD self-study package from Savage, Minnesota. Oh my goodness, yes, 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 yes. Um, so she will be able to pay for her NCLEX exam and you guys know how it is. You invest in yourself. I want to invest back into you. The team wants to invest back into you. Um, it is our it is our mission. We have one mission, and that is to that is to help you guys pass your NCLEX exam. So anybody who purchases that DVD self study package, you're entered into a drawing, and I just pick you. I just pick you, and you get your NCLEX paid for. So that's two hundred dollars that you won't have to worry about, okay? Pretty cool, I think so. Um, <laughs> okay, so I did see this comment. Regina, can we get you back on Fridays? I Let me tell you why I don't do Fridays anymore. Well, the reason was because I did it, I did it for most of 2018. So 2019, I couldn't commit to the Fridays because my time got even shorter and I have way more students to create. So the reason why um, I don't do Fridays anymore is because it allows me to create uh, new material for the nursing students that need me, which is basically all of you guys, all right? So by not doing Fridays, it allows me to do more things, more events, more traveling. And I think it just works out because everybody ends up happy, all right? So, all right, uh, you guys, let me show you this, though. Everybody should be excited about this. Everybody should be excited about this. And it is the Mondays. The Mondays coming up in May. OK, the Mondays coming up on May. Uh, again, Remar Nurse University, you guys are able to watch it on live Facebook and YouTube. Right. It will be totally free on those venues, just like we always do. Um, I will be going to the cities, though, physically. I want you guys to come out to the classes because I will be there and we'll be able to interact. I can't say. OK, let me just tell you the dates again. So May 6th, I'm going to be in Chicago. Love going there. I have actually never done a class in Atlanta. Um, I've never done a class in Atlanta before. So I'm looking forward to May the 13th. I will be in Los Angeles on May the 20th in Los Angeles literally will be my comeback because I have done a class in Los Angeles before. Woo, the story is, it's too crazy. I can't even tell you today. I will tell you about Los Angeles though. Um, New York, 
love going here. I usually have my largest classes in New York, believe it or not. I'll be there May 27th, and then I will be ending Remarners University. Actually, we're extending Remarners University into June because we wanted to squeeze in another city um, into Remarners University. So those are the cities that I will be live at for Remar Nurse University. I see Mark running towards me, so I must have said something I wasn't supposed to say. All right, so I hear his footsteps. It's making me nervous. <laughs> what else, Mark? What? What did I do? No, I'm just coming in. Oh, you, okay, you have something you're adding? I gotta see. All right, so any house, um, you guys want to register for Remar Nurse University. You do want to register for Remar Nurse University. Can I go here? Okay, so this will be the website, remarnurseuniversity.com backslash R-N-U. R-N-U, of course, that stands for Remar Nurse University. Um, and this is where you'll be able to register. Can they register now or no? Register starts tonight at, at 8 p.m. Eastern time, okay? So that's when it will open up and you'll be able to register. You can register for the classes, um, if you want to come out to the classes, uh, it will be great. And also, you will be able to register to watch online as well. Now, there is- Show the dates and everything, the locations and all that. I did show the awesome. locations and the awesome. dates. I'm super excited about this event. I am too. And somebody asked the price of it. Mm. <laughs> wow. So how much would you pay for, how much do you pay for live in Clutch Review? That's a great question. Like from- Oh, that's such a good question. And, and, and actually, a better question is when you've gone to a live NCLEX review class, mm -hmm. like who was your teacher? Right? Like nobody knows. That's an even better question. You, you pay for you the class. You don't even know the teacher. Right? Oh, that's so deep. You pay what, $300, $500, $600? You don't even know who the instructor is, what their background is, if they're that's competent true. in NCLEX. That's true. Uh, and, and so what we do is we take oh it a step above, right? So it's not $300 or anything like that. You have two options for attending the live classes. Uh -huh. All right. So there's two ways to do it. Uh, the first is the complimentary op option. Do I have a slide for this? It's or right there. It's oh, slide. is it right slide. here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's free, a complimentary option. Free 99. I love that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> right? Brennan. Brennan. So that. for the complimentary option, you can just come to the, you just sign up, you register online, uh, remarnurse.com slash RNU. Oh, check this out, you guys. This is, this is, this is the thing. This is the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you register online, uh -huh. you select your location, whether you're going to be watching it on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, or if you're coming, if we're coming to the one of the cities near you. So we're going to be in Chicago. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we're going to be in Chicago. We're going to be in Atlanta. We're going to yep. be in Los Angeles. We're mm -hmm. going to be in Miami. And we are coming to New York City. It's going to be a right? long month. Yeah, man. It's going to be a beautiful, <laughs> be a beautiful Every long traveling Monday month. Monday in May and Monday, uh, June 3rd yep. uh, as well. And, and what I want to say is this. So you can, you can come free. Mm -hmm. You can come to the class free, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, or you can watch online free. There's right. also a bundle option where you can bundle and save for just $25. That gets you priority seating if you're coming to the live event. Right. It also gets you our printed uh, RNU workbook yep. so that you can take all of your notes and have some place to have stay organized um, and keep up with the content that Regina is laying out. Right. And she's been working on this. I tried to say, listen, Regina, you got enough material. Just use something that you already no. have. She was like, no, I need to create something new yes. specifically for this event. Yes. And so... Um, I, you guys can watch it online for free. Like yeah. I'm telling you, you can watch it online for free. Can for free. You can come to the classes. Even the classes are free, but I do encourage you to get the workbook because, um, I, I have created this workbook, especially for Remar Nurse University. Mm -hmm. So even if you have, if you had the one from last year, if you are still around by chance, it is not the same material. I am, I'm, I'm so excited about this workbook because it's going to have the, um, it's going to have the lecture format. It's going to have the case studies. It's going to have this the, what she's been working on, on those Fridays. <laughs> it's right? it's going to have the homework. And, Everything. and so you won't only get the workbook though. You'll get, um, you'll be able to get your, your remark. Yes. I mean, for $25, you'll get the workbook. You'll get the t-shirt. Priority event seating. Priority event seating. And if you are interested in getting the DVD package during this time, oh my goodness, yep. um, you will also be able to get the discount with that $25 ticket. Yep. So, an additional discount. And, and a, yeah, and even additional discount. Yep. So, 
it, I'm just encouraging you guys, if you really want the full experience of Remar Nurse University, um, even if you're at home or whatever, get the workbook. Uh, okay. to be honest with you, this event it should be like a $200 event, Absolutely. $300 event. But the thing Absolutely. is, we're, we are all about eliminating excuses. Right? That's so true. Like, you know what? I can't afford you know, 200 to come to another, <laughs> for another review or anything like that. Yes. But we, we want to make sure, like, if you are about that life and trying to get your, you know, your license and it's exactly. time and it's time, exactly. like, no excuses. This is exactly. a free event. Mm -hmm. If you want to take it a step above and really invest in yourself, we have that for you as well. Yes. So we really want to encourage you to, uh, to not only attend this, um, mm -hmm. but there's also some nurses watching yeah. um, in, 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 in Chicago, yes. in Atlanta, in mm -hmm. L.A., in Miami uh, that have passed NCLEX with Remark. Right. True. And so what we're looking for is if you've already passed in class, you're a Remar nurse. Every time Regina gets on, there's at least 10 testimonials of individuals yeah. that have passed. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you just yeah. want to show love and come and meet Regina uh, and not yeah. only that, but also perhaps even get on stage and share your testimony and, and just kind of share your story of going through the process to encourage somebody. Yes. We're going to give you the opportunity to do that as well. So we want you yeah. to sign up as yes. well. And there's a slot on the form that says, listen, yep. I've already passed, but I just want to rep Remar. Yeah. So put that, fill that out and we'll be giving you a call so we can connect. Yeah, absolutely. So it's really great. And when you guys register, the registration again for Remar Nurse University starts tonight at 8 p.m. Yeah. When you register and choose your location, um, you will be able to see where every where every event is held mm -hmm. in the city. OK, so um, and again, if you if you're not in one of these cities, yes, you can still watch this yeah. event live online yep. you um still get your workbook you can still get the still workbook get everything everything you, everything. Discount, you just so you pick there. yeah you just pick um i'll be watching it on facebook all right yep. so how much is the workbook if attending online it's 25 dollars yep. because it's it's a workbook but it's also you get a t-shirt with it i mean you're literally not, not paying for the for the workbook you know if, if it were there'd be a different cost different yeah cost the literally the like discount. this is just to let oh us my know goodness. that you're invested in yourself Exactly. That's, that's honestly exactly. It. It's just to know that you are invested uh, and that mm -hmm. you are ready to take those yep. next steps. Yep. Yeah, because it's a. It's yeah. Because the, the information <laughs> that is invaluable. That's like saying how much exactly. is the uh, motivation. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. Will the topics for each location be different? Yes. The topics are going mm. to be different. The review is a month long, and it literally every week we're going to build. We're going to cover a new topic mm -hmm. in a new city. So. That is why, that is why you want to, you wow. want to, you want to, you can listen, <laughs> you want to be there at the start because yeah. you guys know how these events go. We, we do them and then they disappear. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are, this is just for the month of May. So you don't want to miss a week of it. Like you really want to make sure that you're watching online. You're coming out when it's your city time and then you're watching online to continue. I'm coming to these cities because I want to meet you guys. Yeah. I want to see you guys. I want to do book signings. I want to, you know, take pictures. take pictures. I want you guys to meet the team. I want you people now, you know, when, when they come to our events, they're looking for Mark. Like they want to see Mark, you know. So it's it's really amazing for us to be able to actually meet the family. And so um, we know that you guys are going to be a Remar nurse. And this is another way. A lot of people ask for the Remar nurse shirts before they pass yeah. NCLEX. And so... For $25, you get the book, you get the t-shirt. Um, now, just to be clear, this is not the same shirt that you get when you do your video testimony. Right? No, this so is this Remar, Nurse Nurse Remar Nurse University Yeah, tea. it's the Remar Nurse University T. Right, so uh, but you can wear it to class. You can wear it to the class. You can wear it home. I want to see pictures. Um, so, you know, when you purchase the... Um, when you purchase the workbook, when you get the bundle package, the book will be physically shipped to you. Workbook. Yeah, there's not going to be a PDF, PDF of this book. No, this book will require an investment to yourself. Right. Okay. Said, I'll see you in Miami. Awesome. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, yes. Candace. Oh, Candace. Candace. Oh, wow. We got to meet you. That would be 100%. a pleasure. That would be Absolutely. a pleasure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, uh, what time do you usually are online for Monday University University? Perfect. So Monday U Nurse University. Remar Nurse University uh, every Monday in May. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Monday <laughs> Nurse University. Maybe next year. Uh, no, Remar Nurse University will be 8 p.m. So it's Monday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, it's not 8 p.m. A little bit earlier. Yeah, we're going to go we're earlier. 7 to 9. 7, 7 p.m. Yes. 7 p.m. because we're going to be uh, live in city. So we don't want people out too late. Um, but it will start at 7 p.m. Okay. At the location of the
that will be streamed yes. live yes. so that whether you know we're have, we're in new york if you're in, uh, in chicago and dc Absolutely. you know you can you're able to watch it if you're in houston in dallas you'll be able to watch the other events. Yes. But if you're in the city, like we expect you to come out. We expect you to be there. Yes, 100%. yes. So it's gonna be really great because this is the first time we've done something like this mm -hmm. where um, I do a live class and we stream, we stream and then we also, I have the live class going on. So you guys will be able to literally see the classes, see the, uh, you know, Versus see the, the information. Man, it's going to be phenomenal. Remar Nurse University is where it is at for the it's month. The largest yeah. nursing class in collection. Ever, ever. The most yes. substantive. Yep. It's not about numbers. It's about completing your task and getting your license. Mm -hmm. And what I want to say is this. like, All right, so um, if you have the DVD self-study package already, Ooh. you should be planning for your test date. Yes. Right. And mm -hmm. honestly, if you the sooner you want to get your license, like yeah. get the package today. Yeah. And then as you're studying, absolutely and that like that momentum through yeah. the month of May. Yeah. Yeah. Like don't wait till the end of May to get the package when the, you know if there's a discount mm -hmm. and that's gonna end. Like if you start now and say, Okay, I want to test in July. Yeah. I want to have my license by the end of June. Like this is mm -hmm. where you start and use that momentum absolutely. to propel yourself to get your license. And then we're gonna enter into another testimony season after that because you get to the resources yes. get your license share your story oh man on. we're really we're really um we're really dependent on you guys to participate and take part of this um i the workbook for remar nurse university i'm writing it with intentionality of students who are going to purchase the DVD program or who already have the DVD program. So the information in there is it's, not going to be no, in the program. No, it's, it's, it's more of an, an advanced application of the information. Mm. OK, so if you have the DVD program, this will see if you can apply that information. If you don't have the DVD program, this will show you where you are on the subjects and the subjects that I'm going over. Um, I think they're going to be super beneficial. I mean, every every city will have a different subject topic. So when you get when you sign up for it, remarnurse.com backslash RNU, you will get the calendar. You'll be able to. Um, see exactly uh, how Remar Nurse University is going down, uh, but I want yeah. you guys to be there. I'm I'm really, really looking forward to it, really. You gotta share this information. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so you, I mean, you gotta bring the city out. We wanna see, you wanna Absolutely. see your whole nursing class. Yes. You wanna talk to the professors, I mean, uh, yes, fact, man, it's graduation season. It is. Like, the whole classes should be the there. Class. Like, remember when we did when we did Remarnish University, we literally had classes mm -hmm. watching. Watch parties. Yeah, we literally had watch parties. So if I'm in your city, your class needs to represent. Like, y'all need to come in there with your scrubs on, whatever, however y'all yeah. want to do it. But this, uh, this is that event for nursing students. Like graduation taken mm -hmm. NCLEX, this is that event. Absolutely. So in fact, if you are a nursing student and you want to rep Remar, be a brand ambassador, you have an opportunity oh, to do yeah. that as well. So at the bottom of the form, mm -hmm. they'll ask you the question, hey, would you like to rep mm -hmm. Remar? You can say, yes, I would, I'm down. Perfect. Or I'd like to know a little bit more, or no, not at this time. So we, yeah. we really want to uh, make sure mm -hmm. that you guys are well represented and that we're able to take care of you and connect at the deepest level. Oh, I love the questions that I'm getting. So um, somebody asked, do I need to purchase the workbook if I already have the DVD package? Package. Yes, this is this is the Remar Nurse University workbook. Yeah, this yeah. is this is totally separate. So I would again the the workbook. No, I'm going to do a RN and a PN. Um, the the lectures will be RN and PN. So um, if you're a PN, you will benefit from being here. That's what I want to say. If you're a PN, you will benefit from being here. Um, another question. I'll be watching. Thelma says I'll be watching from Houston. Cool. Love it. Yes, Love yes, it. yes, yes. And again, this is um, online. So if you're not in Atlanta, Los Angeles, you can still participate. Mm -hmm. And the workbook, again, the workbook and the T-shirt, they're optional. They're $25, but it's an option. If you don't want to spend the $25, you can just watch. Mm -hmm. um, you can just watch and, and take your own notes. But for those of you who want the workbook, I, I would suggest it because. Oh, yeah. Get that. I mean, I mean it's not? just Absolutely. yeah, it, Absolutely. it just it would just make sense for you, you to should have be planning. it. You should, yeah. fact, you should be yes. writing out when you want to pass in clicks yes. and work your way backwards mm -hmm. from there. Yeah. This is this is it. This is cool. Man, and we yeah. still saw so many testimonies uh, mm -hmm. during this live that you weren't actually able to address of students that That's passed in clicks. Man, true. this is I mean it's amazing. This is exciting. In fact, the last year we did RNU, mm -hmm. um, there were 
like 3,500 nurses around the world studying for NCLEX at one time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. and so this is just going to take it to the next level, 5,000 easily. Uh, and so we want to make oh, sure yeah. that you're a oh, part yeah. of that and so that you get your momentum, get that yes. energy that you need, get the content it's that you're going to be so, It's going to be so exciting. Uh, I saw the question, is there a different workbook for every city? No. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen is you're going to get one workbook. So it will be like, do I have it? Yes, it will be like your, I don't even want to show it because people will think it's the DVD workbook. Mm, right. But you'll get a workbook and it'll say Remar Nurse University. And I think right now I have about 30 pages so far. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, so week one, you'll be covering the first part of it. Yes. Week two, week you're going to move into the week, next part. But week it's the three, same week book. Four, so week five. as you guys are watching, as you come to the city, you will, um, you're will you going to be able to fill out your workbook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it'll be one workbook for the entire university class. Okay. Uh, yes. At the end of it, your workbook is going to be full. You're yeah. Complete, exactly. Your confidence yeah. is going to be high and you're going to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gary said, I hope you're ready for the eight o'clock period. Your site is going to be crazy. Yes, yes. Yeah, she said she yeah. set her alarm to remind oh, wow. her. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. wow, 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 wow. So you'll see it on the homepage also, remarnurse.com. Yeah. Uh, as well as on the homepage there, or you can go to remarnurse.com. So we put it down. <laughs> uh, I like this question. What if I don't have the DVD package and I want to buy the workbook? That's perfect. That's exactly what I want you to do. Um, that's, the starting place. that's the starting place. Whether you um, whether you have the DVD package or not, this workbook will be beneficial if you want to participate. Um, and with the with the workbook, mm -hmm. it it's uh, it approximates what the DVD self study package is like, right? So True. if you ever wonder what the program is like, how yeah. do I use it? Yeah. When you get the workbook and you go through Remar Nurse University, Regina You'll is know. showing you guys how to actually use the DVD self study yeah. program and give you guys an amazing discount to be yeah. able to buy that mm -hmm. at that time. So, I mean, this is really like a, um, it's, it's, it's a gift. This is a, an amazing gift and I'm excited for it. And yes. I'm not even in nursing school. No, I'm I know. I'm not taking the test, but this is exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see everybody mm -hmm. in the locations and online live. Yep. So again, it's every Monday um, for the month of May into June, into the first Monday in June. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be doing Remar Nurse University together and it would just be an, it will be that month, over a month long mm -hmm. NCLEX review. So make sure that you guys sign up this evening. The workbooks for Remar Nurse University uh, will be sent out physically. So you'll receive them in the mail. All right. Because you'll get your workbook. You'll get your T-shirt. Um, you'll get a ticket to your live event. And you'll also get your discount. Your added discount. What are your Facebook live days? Okay. So and it's going to start 7 p.m every Monday in the city. So if I'm in Los Angeles, it'll be 7 p.m. Los Angeles time, mm -hmm. right? If I'm in Chicago, it's going to be 7 p.m. Chicago time. So you guys are going to have to plan your Mondays to make sure that you're live for class, okay? But I think it'll be a great, I think it'll be a great time. I have the DVD in the workbook, but I don't have the QuickFax book. That's okay. The Remar uh, Nurse University workbook will be separate, okay? I so I have QuickFax though. Maybe, I don't know. That's, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question of how do you not have, get as everybody needs quick facts. Everybody if does. there's ever a shadow of doubt and you don't know where to start studying <laughs> for in class. Love like, Kiki said, Esther, get the quick facts. <laughs> you, you need quick facts. Like that's um, the starting place, right? So, uh, so yes, I will be talking about this probably at nauseum. I want to be talking about yeah. talking about Remar Nurse University all of the month of April to get you guys to register. Tell you how many people are registered. Talk about the different locations. Tell you all the stories and the prep we're doing. I'm sure the uh, Remar team they will be prepping as well. Right. We are all gearing up for Remar Nurse University. Yeah. So um, they want to see the schedule again. Let me see if I can go back to the schedule. Yeah. Here's the schedule one more time, and then I'm going to jump off. So if you're watching online, you'll be able to watch online every single Monday in May and Monday, June 3rd. We're going to be in Chicago, May Monday, May 6th, Atlanta. We're going to be live Monday, May 13th. Los Angeles live Monday, May 20th. New York, we're coming on Monday, May 27th. And we're going to finish it up in Miami on Monday, May June 3rd. Monday, June 3rd, we are finishing it up in Miami, five cities and online streaming live for you.
Wow. So this is the schedule to lock this into your calendars. If you needed Monday motivation, will I still be doing Monday motivation? Man, we got to talk about that. <laughs> this is Monday motivation. <laughs> this is be it. Yeah. Listen, yeah. <laughs> um, if you ever needed motivation to get back into studying, this will be it. Seriously, this will be it for you guys. This is going to jumpstart you. This is going to get you back in gear. This is going to ramp you up for NCLEX. So, say, jump on that quick fast. yes, it's, um, it's, it's just going to be so good. So um, 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight, the registration gates will open. It's good for um, students, good for PN students. Will the schedule come yeah, with the workbook? School. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yep. absolutely, absolutely. Yep. And remember, the workbook will, will be mailed to you physically. Though, right. right. So There's no PDF download. It will be mailed to you physically once you sign up. No, and the workbook release what the workbook release date will be um, April fifteenth. Okay. 15th. So we were looking for signups. We need to get your shirt sizes. It's important for you guys to sign up expeditiously so yeah. you can get your shirt sizes because. And, um, on, let me just hit this real quick. Is like. She said that April, the, the, the workbook release date will be April 15th. Yeah. And the reason why she's saying that is because she's still adding content. I know. To it. Like, I know. Every day. Sometimes. She's still adding material to it. So you know this is like the fresh, That's newest, so NCLEX, you know what I'm saying, material. Go, go ahead. I'm I getting. let them know. I know, because Mark asked for it. Like, But yeah. I literally, I'll get an email and say, hey, Regina, I need you know, I need you to put this in. I need to understand this. And so I've been getting um, so many emails for literally years, how do I do the compensated arterial blood gases? Yeah. So I got like an easy way for you guys to do. Uh, I'm just, just they're okay. Gonna see, they're gonna see it. All right, all right, all right. No, it's not the same workbook from the DVD program. Okay, it's different. New content. It's new. new. It's new. new. It's new. So um, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I want to see you guys there. I'm looking forward to it. This is what we do here you're at Remar Review. The schedule. Follow yes. that. Put the reminders in your phone. If mm -hmm. you're watching from overseas, if you're in the Philippines. <laughs> Uh, you know, put that, you know, I think it's like a 12 hour, 13 hour difference. Yes. Um, set that reminder because uh, we want to make sure that you are attending R and U live online as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, um, Maureen today put the question bank book on sale today. Thank so you, for Maureen. real, for real. Appreciate the it. question bank book is 50% off for today only. For real, for real this um, time. That's a good, that's a cute cute little sale for nice. that question bank book. And we did some questions from the question bank. So um, if you guys need some, yeah, pick remember. that up. But listen, if you don't have quick facts, get quick facts first, even <laughs> before you get the question bank book. Yes. Because we study the content, then you add questions. In fact, you could probably bundle a save and get them both. All right? Yeah, but definitely don't get the question bank book if you haven't studied the content. Get don't quick do it. Facts. Get quick Start facts. Start there. Absolutely. Quick facts and a question bank book. Mm -hmm. This is if you like the questions that she does every every Monday. Absolutely. Or let me grab this because this mm -hmm. will help you to study the Quick Facts book if you don't have that DVD. OK, if you don't have that DVD. So how much is it to enroll in Remar Nurse University? You guys got to watch the replay. You guys got to watch the replay. Listen, it's, you can do a complimentary option. Yes. Right. You could just you know take help me. You guys explain. Somebody's going to have to put this up in the study group. I or know. Twenty five dollars. Help me. You can get your Remar Nurse University Please. tea, your printed workbook. Uh, your ticket to the live event if you're attending one of the live events yes and also an additional discount on yes. top of what we're going to be doing throughout the month of may so absolutely I mean, so it's, it's really amazing yes absolutely really, really amazing. absolutely absolutely so thank you guys for your time you have been with me for a long time today i appreciate it i appreciate it um again we're looking forward to remar nurse university if you have questions or comments um Please feel free to email us support at remarreview.com. Report at remar support at remarreview.com. You guys know this. We can, we will, we, we must, must pass in class. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. See you later.